about three weeks ago, I posted my drama school audition monologues and since then I've worked on about three other pieces and I feel like my acting and the way I would approach them now has really changed. So I thought I'd watch them back and give some brief notes because obviously notes could go on forever and ever and ever and I could tear it apart forever and ever. So I just thought I'd give like a few notes because I also find it really interesting seeing people note their own acting because I feel like seeing what other people are trying to work on with their own acting gives me a new perspective to look at my own acting with if that makes sense. So I thought I'd share my notes on them and if you want to see how my pieces might improve in the future or if you want to see me chat about acting a bit more then please subscribe and even if you don't please still subscribe because I'm really 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 trying to grow this channel and let's get on with the notes. So my first notes are general and that's just to make all of my pieces more theatre because I feel like in my first year especially it was way too screen and even though they're self-tape auditions they're still looking according to some of their websites for it to be theatre so I just feel like I need to up the energy in my pieces that bit more and up the contrast of all the different thoughts. So for my first piece, I don't want to give detailed notes because I spent ages and ages working on it with one specific person and I feel like sharing all of his notes he gave to me without his consent on the internet is not necessarily the best idea. But the one thing I would say about this monologue, which I'm finding really hard to explain for some reason, is that I really want to push her objective more in trying to make him feel her pain because I feel like that would make me make more of a point out of every single line because every single line she feels like he still doesn't understand how awful she feels all the time the fact that she can't have children and she can't have what she really wants so I want to push that further because I feel like then that would give more emotional layers behind it and make me push myself even more in the monologue because if he doesn't understand everything that she's saying she's gonna be more angry and more frustrated and more hurt so it will just elevate everything even further if that makes sense I don't know if it does so I've got a couple of specific points for this next monologue and the first is that she says she wants to make courgette, he's not keen. That's kind of like two different phrases so I want to make more of a contrast between them to really emphasise the conflict that's going on. I also want to show more frustration at her having to stay at Stacey's mum's house because she's like oh come on I've got to stay at Stacey's mum's house. I'm so much cooler than this. Like I feel like that's her kind of attitude like she thinks she's better than everything and she wants everyone to think that she's better than what's going on in her current circumstances. I also want to mock the mum a lot more in the little impression she does of her but also physicalise that and physicalise more of this monologue in general to be honest because it's really stationary so I want to just get that frustration behind it because sometimes when you're really really frustrated and angry at the circumstances that are going on you kind of feel like that fire and that emotion within you and it makes it kind of harder to stay still because you're like I don't know what to do with myself because everything that's going on is so annoying and I can't do anything about it so I want to have more of that kind of restless energy behind the monologue. I really also worked on trying to get to that level where you can tell that she's trying not to get upset but she's still upset when she talks about her parents treading water until she gets off to uni. So I feel like I've got that level right where you can tell that she's upset but she doesn't want to be getting upset. But I do feel like this character is way too insecure to be getting vulnerable about her emotions so I want to snap out of that straight away on the next line and go into having that more nervous energy of like you didn't see me get upset like no this is all just jokes like I'm not upset about the fact that my parents are breaking up I want more of that behind it if that makes sense I don't know and on the line he's here apparently he's in town she's saying he's here twice so I want to use that to make more of a point of the fact that he's there. And on the line, so I can be there for the showdown, I want to make more of a big deal of that. Like, what? What? Are you joking? Like, why would I want to be there for the showdown? What are you talking about? I want to have more of that to it. 
And then with my Juliet monologue, I feel like it's really, really upset from the start. And I feel like then it has nowhere to go. So I want to think about more of the journey of it. Um, because sometimes when you get really horrible news, you don't feel 100% upset straight away. Like you feel a bit of shock or a bit of denial or something. So I just want to have a bit more of something else in the start. So it's not just upset from the start and then upset all the way to the end. And on the ah, poor my lord, there's the assonance. The ah, poor my lord of the vows if you <laughs> i feel like i have to say it weird so that people understand what i mean <laughs> anyway i want to use that because i feel like you can really use the sounds in shakespeare to express those emotions and that despair a bit more if you use the vowel sounds and on the line three hours wife have mangled it i want to use the word mangled a lot more because that's a really strong kind of word and I also want to ask the questions more of like three hours wife like she's saying she's been his wife for three hours like is she a bad wife for questioning what he's doing already so I want to ask that question more and have more of that vulnerability behind it because throughout this monologue she asks a lot of questions so I want to have more of that vulnerability of am I doing the right thing how should I be feeling because it's all a shock to her and she doesn't know how she should be taking any of it. So I want to use that a lot more. And on the line, my husband lives that Tybalt would have slain and Tybalt's dead that would have slain my husband. I want to have more of her kind of weighing it up and processing it on that line and thinking it through. Finally is Vittoria. And Vittoria is a legend because she's one of the few people in classical plays who's a woman to stand up to men. So we love that. And she's been in prison thinking about the fact that he's betrayed her and he's the reason why she is in prison. So I want to make this monologue feel more like a release. So every time she's saying what's annoyed her, about him I want it to feel more like it's a kind of pre-prepared list like this is what you've done this is what you've done this is what you've done like she's wanted to tell him for so long she's been going over it in her mind and he's finally there and she can finally let out all of his anger so I want to make it feel more like that also the first thing she says is a question so I want to let that sit a lot more and make more of a statement with it and make him feel more bad and I really want to use this whole monologue to make him feel really, really, really small. And I want to especially use the end and make it a lot more quieter because at the end, she says that she wants to make him full executor to all her sins, meaning that she wants him to face all of the consequences she's having to face right now. So I want to use everything she's saying to hurt him a lot more and to show him how much she's serious about wanting him to feel her pain, if that makes sense. So I really just want to get more of that without it necessarily being loud, just getting that quiet, like, this is just really what I want. Like, she's deadly serious. She really just wants him to feel the pain she's going through. My interpretation is that in this moment, she is just really, really hurt, and she just really wants to lash out at him and hurt him too. So I really want to get that across a lot more. But I did find the line, go, go brag how many ladies you have undone like me. It felt a bit weak and jarring, like it stood out and didn't feel fully natural. So I just want to work on clarifying the intention behind it. Like why is she saying that? And what does she mean by it? Work on the subtext of it so it just doesn't stand out as badly. And that's all of my notes. Like, I find it so hard to explain my notes. So I hope that made sense. And let me know in the comments what kind of things you're working on with your own acting. Because I find that so interesting. And thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in another video. Bye!